Happy worship on Wednesday, friends. Pastor Kathy here with Stony United Methodist Church. Welcome to our midweek time of worship during our Lenten season. Uh, these next six weeks, I wanted to invite you to a journey of Lectio Divina, spending some time with Scripture as we as we discern what it is is what our treasures are uh, on our Lenten journeys. Uh, this past Sunday, I introduced you to this journey or this treasure. Hold tight to a faith in the common good. Um, I invite you to consider the things that you have learned this past year of COVID crisis, this past year of us being apart. I invite you to consider the things that that have been blessings in your life, that have revealed to you that people are at their heart good and hopeful and optimistic to consider the things that, well, the ways that God's grace has been revealed to you through other people. So as a practice during this Lenten season, we are going to do Lectio Divina. We're going to spend some time with scripture each Wednesday, uh, hearing the scripture reading, or at least hearing the gospel reading from our time together last Sunday. And then... Um, See what sticks with you. Uh, see what see what you hear. See what sounds new uh, in your life. But I wanted to start off this time um, with a song. Um, we'd like to use the song Seek Ye First as sort of our Lenten journey uh, theme song this year. So I invite you just to listen now. And now as we enter into Lectio Divina, first friends, I invite you just to center yourself. If you light a candle, if you need to. <clears throat> but for this next few minutes, we're going to embrace a sacred text and call upon the Holy Spirit. We're going to read and we're going to listen together. We're going to listen for God and respond as the Spirit moves us. And at the end of our time, we're going to take the, whatever words or phrases that have jumped out at us. Maybe the, um, the, when I was first taught this, we talked about words that sparkle or words that shimmer for us. And these words will become our treasures this week. And always, 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 when you have an experience with God... I hope that you will spend time giving thanks to God for being with you during this experience and speaking to you. Our scripture reading today from Mark 1, 9 through 15. About that time, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and John baptized him in the Jordan River. While he was coming up out of the water, Jesus saw heaven splitting open and the Spirit, like a dove, coming down on him. And there was a voice from heaven, You are my Son, whom I dearly love. In you I find happiness. At once, the Spirit forced Jesus into the wilderness 
<clears throat> he was in the wilderness for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among the wild animals, and the angels took care of him. After John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee announcing God's good news, saying, Now is the time. Here comes God's kingdom. Change your hearts and lives and trust this good news. About that time, Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee and John baptized him in the Jordan. While he was coming up out of the water, Jesus saw heaven splitting open and the spirit like a dove coming down on him. And there was a voice from heaven. You are my son whom I dearly love. In you I find happiness. At once the spirit forced Jesus out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among the wild animals and the angels took care of him. After John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee announcing God's good news, saying, Now is the time. Here comes God's kingdom. Change your hearts and lives and trust this good news. About that time, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and John baptized him in the Jordan River. While he was coming up out of the water, Jesus saw heaven splitting open and the spirit like a dove coming down on him. And there was a voice from heaven, you are my son whom I dearly love, in you I find happiness. And the spirit, and at once the spirit forced Jesus out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among the wild animals, and the angels took care of him. After John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee, announcing God's good news, saying, Now is the time. Here comes God's kingdom. Change your hearts and lives and trust this good news. Let us pray. Living and loving God, we do give thanks for the ways that your treasures sparkle in our lives. As we hold tight to our faith in the common good, God, we know that that good comes from you. God, that your spark of life, that your thumbprint is in each and every one of us, even when we can't see it, or especially when we can't see it. And God, we pray that as this crisis continues, as our time apart seems so exhausting and so long, God, we pray now for one another on our Lenten journeys, that we can see you, that we can draw closer to you. God, that we can be blessed by the many, many treasures. The many ways that your grace is made real each and every day. God, we love you. We sing your praises this day. With Jesus now we pray. Amen. And friends, each week during WOW this month, we'll wrap up our time um, with the song, Lord, You Are More Precious Than Silver. Thank you.